So I wasn't going to talk about any YouTube movie critics for a while, as I had just wrapped up my three-part series on The Critical Drinker last week. However, recent articles have forced me into speaking out, because while this won't be my most well-edited or longest video that I've made, it's definitely going to be one of my most important, because I really feel passionate about this topic. Because sadly, I'm starting to notice a massive shift in the Hollywood blame game that I think is utterly ridiculous. Because Hollywood has seemingly gone from blaming toxic fans for failures to now targeting online movie critics. Because as you all know, just a month ago, I covered how somehow critics like The Critical Drinker and Nerd Roddick were being blamed for Madam Web's failure. And now we're getting more articles come from the entertainment industry that are choosing to attack content creators from articles of actors blaming online criticism for their career downfall. And while I don't know what this specific article is about, and I am a fan of Anne Hathaway, I'm just using this as an example. And we're also getting other articles targeting the so-called review bombing of movies, to now gaming companies threatening legal action against content creators for reporting a negative story about the company that apparently is true, and they're quoting real sources and real articles that have come out about this company, yet they're still threatening to sue these very content creators. And just because that is a legal situation, I think I should add that I don't know all the details, I'm just saying it's reportedly true, but what is definitely true is that they're coming out and saying that they will threaten to sue content creators for making a video and reporting on articles that have come out about that company. Come on, pug. Touch me now, sue. <laughs> And I'd say that this shift is happening in the overall entertainment industry because Hollywood now understands that attacking the very people that you want to watch your movies is an utterly dumb idea and is only going to aggravate the audience and result in you losing more money, yet they still for some reason don't want to take any sort of accountability and are looking for more people to shift the blame towards and now they've settled on the idea of attacking online movie criticism coming from people like The Critical Drinker, like Nerd Roddick, like Jeremy Johns. They're choosing to attack these people because they view this as an easier scapegoat and an easier way to blame their failures on someone else without aggravating the audience that they're choosing to make these movies for. However, why this is still a very dumb idea is because you're now attacking people that the fans of your movies listen to, respect, and watch on a daily basis, so you're also going to aggravate the very people that you're trying not to aggravate now, so you're probably going to lose more money through this new strategy than you were before. So once again, they've settled on a downright stupid idea. And now, this shift has been gradual, as the Critical Drinker started being blamed just over two years ago, where I think there was a Forbes article that highlighted one of his videos, saying Saying that that somehow damaged the reputation of Rings of Power and was part of the reason that that series failed, when as we all know, Rings of Power just wasn't on the same level as the original Lord of the Rings movies. Overall, people didn't like it, and he wasn't the only critic that voiced complaints around that show, as pretty much most critics out there said that this show wasn't great, yet they chose to target him because it seemed like an easy scapegoat. So that all started to happen just over two years ago, however now it's really ramping up, and that's why I feel that I have to say something as both a movie fan and an online movie critic myself. Because like I've already said, attacking YouTube movie critics is an easy scapegoat, however the reality is that if people didn't agree with these online critics, they wouldn't have the following that they have, and therefore they wouldn't be important enough to try and blame 
blame them for your failures. So clearly YouTube critics are saying something right and are clearly resonating with fans and fans are agreeing with people like The Critical Drinker and Jeremy Johns because they're saying things that ring true and they're speaking from the opinion of the audiences of these movies and shows. So these critics should be seen as a streamlined view of what fans are thinking and studios should really listen to these critics and try and take on some of their opinions and while I'm not saying they should only listen to these critics and do everything that they say as of course they need to think for themselves as well however you do need to listen to this criticism especially when it's getting millions of views because clearly that's what the audience is thinking and a lot of the time the criticism around these shows and movies revolves around the storytelling revolves around the pacing the beats tangible filmmaking elements that make for a good series or a good movie so why not listen to that and try and implement that in your next few films because clearly big budget movies as of late haven't been as good as they were just a few years ago and that's got nothing to do with any sort of toxic fan and that's got nothing to do with any sort of hatred or bigotry, it has a lot more to do with the simple fact that the stories aren't as good. So why not listen to the very people that you make these stories for? Because I do think that an underlying reason for why these Hollywood studios dismiss this online criticism so much is because they view these YouTube critics as just idiots in a basement who know nothing about storytelling and are just speaking out of their ass and they shouldn't pay them any attention. However, to succeed in any endeavor requires you to have some talent and a lot of hard work behind it. And so the reason that the critical drinker and Jeremy Jones have these big followings and have succeeded on YouTube is because they know what they're talking about. They're not just some random idiot saying anything they want, they're good at their job and that's why people follow them because they say things that resonate with audiences. And so given the fact that the critical drinker can bring in more people per YouTube video than a lot of big budget Marvel productions bring into the cinema, clearly he knows a thing or two about crafting a good narrative, entertaining audiences, and building a good rapport with his fans. So why not learn from that? Why not listen? Clearly he knows what he's talking about, and he doesn't just make YouTube videos. He also writes novels, which are top sellers on Amazon, and also is now making a short film, so he knows how to craft a story. He's not just an idiot from a basement. He actually has skin in the game, and knows a thing or two about the storytelling industry. And so, as a movie fan and critic myself, I just want an industry that can work with one another. I just don't see why movie creators should hate critics, and why critics should hate movie creators. I honestly feel that we both need each other, and should learn from one another. Because Hollywood studios should take feedback on board from critics, and all critics should try and do is hold movies accountable, and push an industry that we all love to be at the highest standard possible and to continue to grow. And unfortunately, YouTube has become one of the few places where you can find real honest criticism as I don't follow critics based on if I agree with every single point they make. I follow critics based on whether or not I feel they're telling the truth and whether or not they're just being honest about their opinion. And that's why I watch people from John Campier to the Critical Drinker, to Jeremy Johns, to Robert Meyer Burnett. I watch people of all different opinions who sometimes have opinions that clash, but that's a good thing because they're just being honest. And I'd hate to see an industry that I love so much try to eradicate honest feedback and try to eradicate true criticism because movie criticism has been around since the time that movies began. So I just feel like it's my job to speak out and fight for honest movie criticism when I see the rise of attacking critics online because it's just so dumb and I just see no merit in that argument. But what are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below in the comments. If you like the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on my next video.